What's going on guys? So today I wanted to do a uh, 100 hour review on our Wright 36 Standard I, uh, the intensity. Uh, let me show you that. So we have had this mower for about, I think three years now. Um, really great for small backyards. This is not a 32, this is a 36. The 32 has the fixed deck and you can pretty much get in any gated areas with that mower, but we, the fixed deck is v more difficult to use just because with different heights of lawns and so many other areas. But regardless, we went with the 36. It has the float deck so you can set it. Um, yeah, uh, doesn't rut too bad. You know, the tires are a little fat on it. You know, we've never had a problem with rutting in those small areas. But it just beats using the push mower, that's all. But this, like I said, is three years old. So with 100 hours, I, I don't want to say, I mean, obviously that's not a lot at all, but 100 hours, three years, it gets used, I'd say, a little bit every every week in the season, but it's a lot of on and off, it's a lot of short trips. You got to think at 100 hours how many small backyards that is. I mean, it's, it's so personally, I think it's a, a good amount of hours on a mower like this is three years old or not you know everyone has their own preference but so this is like i said this is 36 um no no issues as far as the mower itself with cutting um up here i'll show you on the dash we did have like one of these clips broke on the pto switch and the pto did go out last year um that was an easy fix though they, they had it at you know the, the dealer for a couple hours same with the parking brake. The parking brake went um, a few years back, so I had to get that fixed. Little little stuff, but besides that, no no issues at all. Um, this is a great little mower, and I believe these mowers are like maybe a thousand bucks less than like a forty eight. I don't know. We haven't bought bought a new mower really in the last year and a half, so I, I don't know. But I know these are a little bit cheaper. Obviously, you get a lot less deck and cutting compared to the 48s but this mower overall great little machine we got the i don't have it with me right now but we got the ballard bagger i don't know what it's called but that's from from ballard um it's the aluminum bagger that's a that's out in our other shed behind the garage but that's a great bagger too um we just didn't the dealer at the time didn't have a bag for the for the standard uh, her intensity so we had that ordered that you had to put it together, which is a pain in the butt, but it works fine. It's an aluminum bag. Besides that, we really just side discharge. Uh, just, you know, we don't really use that bag at all. This mower, like I said, this mower's not used a lot. Overall, we haven't had really issues with it besides that PTO switch and the parking brake. But same thing, at 100 hours, we're still, we're still going to do an oil change in the spring and the fall and the summer and the winter. doesn't matter. I know some guys will do an oil change at... 40 hours 50 hours it's not how we do it it's we do we do one oil change as i've said in other videos every season so it's done and you know you got to take care of this stuff for it to take care of you obviously it's making you money so take care of it but besides that like i said no no issues now this pad too i, I do not like the pads on these rights these are not not comfortable pads they really dig into your knees and at 100 hours too it's 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 not good you know they they could do a little bit better I think you know the skag the back on the the pads on the skags are beautiful but that's that uh, fuel tanks on the side right there everything over here is oil you know that's the same thing down here filter drip and then all that's in one side it's a little easier to get to than than the 48 setup but overall. You know, you can't, you know, it's going to be a tight area regardless. So really is what it is, you know. Um, but like, like I said, there's never been issues with the belts. It cuts great again in reverse. We don't cut in reverse, obviously, but you have those little tight areas when you throw it in reverse to make a one quick pass out the gate or, you know, a circle. It, it doesn't leave a mess. It mulches it up too and spits it right out beautifully. But, you know, with, besides the mower itself, same. This is the Kawasaki engine. FX 600V. 
No problems. Like I said, oil every season. We've never had an issue with any machine. You got to take care of it for it to work. But besides that, you know, you do, we do, we have a little, little list checklist here of what we do for the winter months. All of these mowers have them again. Everything's really clustered. If you haven't seen the last video, our, our garage is a little clustered because this is all the mowing stuff. While outside we have all, you know, the other trailers have like the leaf stuff. But every mower, and I've gone over this, Stabil, Seafoam, Spark Plugs, Oil Change, everything. You know, and, the, and we do, that's that, the Stabil, that's that winterization Stabil. In the summer, in the season, or in the season, I guess, we do the 360. But it's just the little stuff like that that really, you know, just, you gotta take care of it, like I said. But this battery's on the side. I believe the battery did go on this thing too. I'm not sure, but everything, every obviously I just ran everything, but everything's ran on a trickle charger through the winter. We don't drain any fuel, but and then the hydro is all back here behind the pad. We haven't done that yet. Again, it's only at hundred hours. Probably gonna do that next year just because this mower is three years old. So but these rights, these rights are great machines, man. You know, there's the, they have the uh, the sealed points, so you don't have to grease anything. There's nothing going on. But I'm trying to think here, what else? You know, that, that's really it. It's a really this machine isn't really used a whole lot, but when it comes to not having the push mo, this this is a lifesaver, especially in the middle of the summer. You know how it works if you push mo. But the like I said, the 32 was just a little too small. And the fixed deck really didn't sell me on it. I would have gotten the 32 if they had the float deck. Now, I believe, I could be wrong, but I believe Wright does have a 32 float. But you have to you have to order that specifically. But this one, they had it in. And like I said, the whole fixed deck thing kind of freaked me out. Because we have lawns up here in the northeast with Zoysia, Tall Fescue, and, you know, uh, some of them are just dirt to be honest sand sandy dirt, but That's that uh, the handles too, you know if you if obviously if this is your first right video It's not like the skag, you know you have reverse or I'm, I'm doing this from the wrong side here, but you got reverse forward New uh, left right, you know up here. It's not like the skag. I believe the skag I Can't even remember we have one right out there in that garage but I believe the Skag, the middle ones move, I think. It's a little different, but I like this setup a lot better. It's really a love-hate relationship with, I noticed, with some of these mowers. Like, some of these guys will, uh, you know, completely opposite. Like, what I'm saying right now. But I absolutely love these. You know, you don't even have to move your hand half the time, you know. If you're just going, if you have both hands up here, it's, it's a breeze. No, no, no issues. But, trying to think, you know, besides that nothing you know no no issues at all you know the the belts are perfectly fine we check those all the time always have spares though we always have backups just in case spend the money they're expensive it is what it is but in the middle of july on a friday afternoon if you got a belt break you gotta you gotta have a backup with you but you know and then like i said this is the float deck you have the settings but oil filter on the side air filter up front Really just like, you know, mainly the other, other mowers. We have the grass flap on all the other 48s and our skag, but we don't we don't use this mower a whole lot. And when we do use it, it doesn't really get bagged. The backyards are so small. I mean, it doesn't really get, it doesn't make a mess. You know, the grass flap's beautiful around all the mulch beds and things like that. But this mower, I just didn't find the time to buy one or even really put it on. It just wouldn't be used. Like I said, this is used couple out may not even a couple hours a week you know in this season but the bower bag's great it's the aluminum bag i'll take a picture of that and post that but like i said we i don't have it with me in here but the aluminum bagger which is great um but yeah you know that's overall great little machine i got we bought a 48 well actually way back when starting with the push mowers and the and the pull you know the walk behinds i had a walk behind Push mower walk behind, and then after the walk behind, we bought one of these 48s. And then after one of the 48s, we bought one of these standards because, believe it or not, 
I believe one of these were down and I was leaving and I said, you know what? We were at that point where, you know, there was three people, including myself, and you needed to pull the plug. You know, you, you can't or pull the cord on getting the new one. So we actually bought this on a whim and, you know, we were using this for a little while until waiting for the other 48 to get up for our commercial properties, blah, blah, blah. So I'm glad I bought this. And like I said, I really looked at the 32 and the 36. Again, I if 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 you're looking for advice between a 32 and 36, I've never used a right 32, but I can tell you, make sure you get the float deck if they offer it. And you know, maybe the float deck's fine. I know a bunch of guys around here that have the float deck, but if you're if you need to switch heights all the time, it's it's gonna be a pain in the butt. I believe with the floating deck, I had a floating deck before an old, old walk behind and you had to move it with the spacers underneath the blades and that was just, that was just unbelievably crazy. I, I will never go back down that road again. But overall, great mower. If you need a 36, again, I recommend Wright. Never had any other issues. If you look at all of our other videos with Wright, never any issues. Our dealer's right down the street. That's, that's us personally. Great mower. Does everything all the bigger mowers do. It's just for them little little backyards. Now, like I said, this won't fit a very, very small gate. You'll have to use the push mower. We got a couple of Hondas for that. But the 36 is great for those little gates where they don't have a double gate and it works. Like I said, doesn't rot. And believe it or not, too, this thing does not suck up a lot of fuel either. Fuel gauged right on the side. Great little mower. 100 hours so far. And like I said, only two issues. PTO switch brake handle nothing with the blade you know nothing with the machine itself nothing with the engine great mower definitely going to buy another one in a couple years and hopefully move this one to our commercial side and get a new one for residential but at 100 hours being three years old we don't need another one but it'll do for now for you know what what we need it without the field all right guys thanks for watching i appreciate it i hope this helps anyone that's looking for one of these standards